Do you need to know how to upload a video to your YouTube channel or delete a video that you no longer want there? Well, you're in luck because I'm about to show you a fast and simple way to do it. What's going on, everybody? I'm Mike G. And if this is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. I look forward to reading your comments down below as to what you'd be interested in seeing me make future videos about. But for today, I'm going to be showing you how to upload videos to your YouTube channel and how to delete unwanted videos that you may have there and just want to get off of the channel. So let's get right into that. Okay, first, let's pull up YouTube. Okay, go to my channel. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go over here to the channel, click on the icon, go to YouTube Studio. Go to videos right over here under the dashboard, click on videos. Okay, and then it's gonna give a list of all the videos that have been uploaded. So what you wanna do first is hit create right over here in this corner. You wanna upload a video. Okay, select file. Okay, so I'm gonna upload a video over here. I'm just gonna grab one of these. I go to my video section here and I'm gonna grab this video here. So now it's uploading. And this may take a, a minute for it to process all the way through. And right here, it'll say title. So backspace that out of there. And you can put whatever title you want to put right here. You have to tag and describe all this. But I'm going to go through all of this in another video where you have to put the description. You have to put a thumbnail. You have to roll down. Is this made for kids? Yes, no more options, you get your tags down here, put your tags in. If you have any, if your video has any paid promotion or product placement or endorsement, you'll check here. And a lot of this other stuff, I don't even mess with, but you have to wait for the video to upload. And it depends on how fast your, your Wi-Fi and your computer can upload. But well, mine uploads pretty quick, a couple minutes. And this is how you upload a video. So a lot of time while this is uploading, I'm actually already typing in here my title, how to clone yourself. OK, so. I did a video where I was cloning myself and showing how to do it, but actually the volume didn't get recorded on it. So I have to go back and do it again. So that's why I'm just going to upload it and then I'm going to delete it again. But if I was to do this here, I would go on YouTube and I would search other videos that are similar to what I'm uploading. And I would see what type of tags they put on theirs, what type of thumbnail they have. Uh, what's the name of the title that they used, the way that they worded it. And I would take all the photos and all the titles and all the videos and I'll see uh, which one got the most views. And the one that gets the most views, then I'll take a look at what they did right as opposed to the ones that didn't get as many views. And I'll try to figure out what can I do to make the video better or faster or more interesting or more straight to the point so that it saves people time. And this is what I come up with. And then I put a title in 95% process. It's almost there. Okay, there it is. It just went through. So that's number one details where you list all this. You list your description where you describe what your video is about. You come over here, video elements. You go to an add and end screen. Click this here. And here you can put three videos in the subscribe sign, one video in the subscribe sign, subscribe a video, video playlist, two videos. And they have, here it is right here. One video, one playlist, one video, one playlist, one subscribe, one playlist, one subscribe, two videos. Import from latest video, one video, one subscribe. So, Anyways, you can fill the one you want here. I normally click this one and then you can adjust this down here. 
This is the time that they're going to come in at. So if I hit play at the end, you're going to see the subscribe sign come through with the icon for my channel and the three videos that I've already done. This drives more subscribers to your channel because you give them an opportunity just to click on it and go directly into the next video. And what you're watching over here, this is the timeline. I can grab a hold of this. I should be able to grab a hold of this. I'm not sure why it's not letting me get it right now. Okay. There it is. Come on now. And you see this arrow? I can adjust the size of this to come in shorter or longer. And I can move all of these. And maybe I want to move these back to here. And I may want them to come in a row just like this. Come in one at a time. There's different ways you can do it. Or you can just put them all to come in even. There we go. And then you hit save right here. And then you have your cards where you add your cards. That's the little ones that come across the top of the screen. You set it up the same kind of way. But we're going to move on to the next step. Then you have visibility. Do you want to save it or publish it? Save it private or publish it public? And then you have your circles that you can check here for public. Everyone can see your video. Set as an instant premiere. You can premiere it. You can have it as unlisted. Anyone with a video link can see your video. So if you do have some videos on there and you may just want to take them off your channel, you don't have to delete them. You could just list them as unlisted or private. It's up to you. Unlisted, people could still watch them, but it wouldn't show up on your public page. But the people who had the people who have the the URL or have the link to the site, they can get to it. Or you can put it to private and then only you or people who you choose can see your video. So I'm going to leave this one private right now because I'm just getting ready to, to delete it. But we have schedule down here. You can also schedule. And then you can go right here and you can click and then you can adjust it and put it for the day you want. So if you upload on Saturdays, you can upload right here for the ninth. Or you can put it for whatever day you want to put it for. We're going to leave it at nine. And then let's say right here that you want it to come up. You check your analytics and on your channel, you seem to see that more people watch your channel and engage with your channel around 9.30 a.m. or sometime between 9.30 and 10, you see that's your most engagement. So what you might want to do is you might want to set it up for 8.30. So that way it's already on there by the time your engaging crowd comes in to watch your video on Saturday morning. And then you can put it right here, set as premiere. And then you have a premiere come up for your video as well. But what we're going to do is we're not going to click schedule. I'm going to take this off. Okay, so we're just going to go back over here. Hit the back button and go back. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Let's go over here to your videos. Okay, there it is. It's still popped up, but it's still on private. So what we want to do now is I want to go back to my YouTube studio. Then I want to come over here to videos again. We want to go back to videos. Then it's right here. Here it is. And if you click here on this little pencil icon, you can go on to it and you can edit whatever you put in there. You can edit your settings. Or let's get out of there. You can go right here to options where these three little bars are. You can click this. And if you look right here, we have delete forever. So this is what we want to do. We're going to want to delete this. If you want to delete a video from your channel, it's very simple. This is all you have to do. Delete forever. I'm going to click this right here. I'm going to click this right here. And delete forever. OK, and then it's going to ask you right here, permanently delete this draft video. How to clone yourself, this date, OK. 
I understand that deleting a draft video from YouTube is permanent and cannot be undone. So you're going to have to check this box and then come over here, delete draft video. Click. And they just took it away. So it's as simple as that, everybody. I hope this was beneficial to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you needed to delete, I hope that was the easiest way to do it. I hope it worked for you. Leave me a comment down below if it worked for you. Leave me a comment down below if it didn't work for you and you had to try something else. And tell me what you tried out. And I appreciate you for coming on my channel to figure out this deletion because I remember when I was looking for it, I had a problem and finally I found it. And it's definitely beneficial when you're starting your channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to get future notifications for my channel and tap the bell. That way you can actually get notified. And I'll see you the next time I make another video.